It's good to be with you on this Tuesday. And as we think about things that can just strengthen us and encourage us, we need to sometimes be challenged by the warnings of God's Word. Uh, the Lord is so accurate and so clear. Everything we need is found in God's Word. That's what's so exciting. There's not a challenge that we're facing today that God doesn't have the truth to help us meet. The thing is that we've got to find it, but the big thing is we've got to obey it. But we find in verse 20 of 1 Corinthians chapter 14, in the midst of a chapter that's talking about the right use of spiritual gifts and what the sign gifts were for and really clarifying all of that in a church that had run into carnality and schisms and spiritual pride, uh, very, very helpful chapters, chapters 12 to 14. But verse 20 I want to take in just a broader way than even the context here. Brethren, be not children in understanding. Howbeit in malice be ye children, but in understanding be men. And what he's saying here is that we as believers need to keep growing in the Lord. We won't be thrown, we won't be fearful, we won't be upset if we are growing in the Lord. We've got to go beyond, as Hebrews 5 says, the milk of the word into the meat of the word. 1 Corinthians 3 makes it very clear uh, that we've got to not be carnal, but we have got to be mature and spiritual. And here it says, don't be children in understanding. You know, as you mature in the human realm, you begin to understand life. You have a right perspective. You understand lack of control is very childish. And there's so many things that we can see as immature. As believers, the Spirit of God will teach us and give us a proper balanced view of life, have wisdom from above, the ability to have discernment. That's also found in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and 3, the discernment that comes with the Holy Spirit taking the Word of God and revealing it to us. And so we need to allow that growth to be continually going on in our life. The big problem, I believe, is a lot of American believers are still children in understanding, and they're reacting, and they are uh, getting upset, they're throwing fits, they're getting disillusioned, they're quitting. Well, it's all very childish. We need to be steady and understand that God is working. These are difficult days. God said they would be and we need to have maturity. And when it comes to malice, we're to not be have great understanding and wrong reactions, but instead we need to be men in our understanding. God wants us to have maturity and to be able to navigate these difficulties, understanding the principles of God's word and making right decisions. As parents, We've got to be very careful not to show a maturity in how we're navigating the pressures of of what's going on around us. As church leaders or as Sunday school teachers or just a believer that's affecting somebody else, we need to be an example of good, balanced, biblical thinking and not emotional reactions and selfish, immature frustration, which is very common. And I think that's what's right now characterizing a lot of believers. And may God save us from that. This is a great time to grow. Did you know you can grow rapidly? The Spirit of God can just bring truth after truth. The more you read of the Word of God, the more you obey, the more you get counsel, the more you're under the preaching and teaching of God's Word. You have an open heart. You do everything God shows you to do. Did you know in a matter of weeks you can be a far different person than you were before? Certainly it takes time to be transformed, but you can have the power of God today. You can have the Spirit of God's fullness today. We can act like men today if we will let the Spirit of God control us. So that's what we need to have, mature Christians today leading the way in a godly reaction that will show the world the reality of our Christ, show those looking to us that there's answers in the Word of God that we can trust the Lord. And we need to to ask God to give us great maturity and strength and stability in these difficult days.